Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Mike here at Weeby Autos. Today we have a gorgeous, very, very special 1931 Ford Roadster pickup. Got the owner here, he's gonna tell us a little bit about it. How are you doing today, Dave? Good. <laughs> gorgeous truck, man. <laughs> <laughs> Love the colors, too. So can you tell us about it a little bit? The car is a Bonnie Gray with black fendered car. Uh, it was uh, done uh, around 1980. Wow. Uh, to 1990 in Manchester, New Hampshire by the um, executive director of the hospital in Manchester. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had it all professionally done. Uh, all the uh, mechanicals were done by Pioneer, which was the premier uh, um, Model A restoration shop in Connecticut. Huh. And then he had body work done in a body shop. Uh, uh, I purchased the car uh, and wanted to drive it home, but he refused to let me do it because he said <laughs> he said that the car could go over bridges onto Long Island. <laughs> so I realized he was an absolute nut. <laughs> uh, I uh, purchased the car and realized that the uh, the front spring was was no longer arced properly, which means the front end would track. It. So I had to rebuild the front end. Mm. Uh, and uh, I, uh, the, I think it's uh, not a bad car. The uh, top is LeBaron Bonnie with the interior. Gorgeous. The uh, engine work was done with a balanced, a balanced engine with crank ca case. So it's blueprinted and, and balanced. Uh, it's got a high speed rear in it. Oh. With, with uh, a Ruxel? With a high compression head. Okay. Uh, the license plates were restored with new old stock license plates and uh, the paint from 1932 was original <laughs> because I found it. Oh, very cool. Uh, Is it I lacquer? Have, or? Uh, it, it's, a, it's a one stage paint. No, it isn't. It's a two stage paint with it's clear coated. Oh, cool. And um, I put the wooden wings on it. That makes a nice difference. I put difference. the wood on the sides to give it taste. I drove it to uh, Gettysburg and to uh, Reading, Pennsylvania to the National V8 meets. I never showed it uh, in competition. To show you the detail on it, if you come over to the headlights here. Mm -hmm. Most Model A's have conduits which is stainless steel. But in 1931, it was actually a cloth material nice. on commercial vehicles. And the headlights, instead of being chrome, they were painted, which is consistent with the way it came out of the factory. Love it. Yeah, let's check out under the hood. There she is. The, you can see the original, well, these are new old stock spark plugs. Uh, the uh, water pump was rebuilt to make it leakless. Um, all the components were done by the um, Pioneer restoration. Of course, I, I drive the car, and obviously it's not detailed like it's never been run, mm -hmm. but I would consider it to be quite um, in good shape. Oh, that's beautiful. I updated the distributor. Okay, it's electronic? No, I put a, I, I removed, uh, there's a plate you put on the bottom of the distributor mm. yeah. to eliminate a wire that always causes you to, uh, shoot. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's just, the distributor is absolutely original. Every, everything's original. Mm -hmm. There's a few updates, which is underneath it, which you can't see, okay. which has nothing to do with the originality of the car. Okay. Uh, the, is it a two-speed rear, or is it like a Ruxel? Or? No, it's not a two-speed rear. It's no, a high-speed no. rear? No, it's not. Okay. Cool. That would be a whole different ball game. Okay. You want to see the other side? Yeah. It's actually the VIN number right there. 
Love the originality with their all their proper clamps and hoses. No, no nothing is. The only thing I did was I ran. Mm -hmm. This is not original, and this wire is not original, and that's because mm -hmm. I have a rare, very, very rare temperature gauge. <laughs> okay. Uh, which is extremely rare. I'd say it's worth eight hundred dollars. The gauge alone, and huh? And it's got a cigar lighter. <laughs> oh, how cool! From the era, of course. Oh wow! So it, the elements right on the end of it. Well, the guy, the guy smokes cigars, so uh, that's why. Hmm. Very cool. That was remarkable that I've had this car for twenty years, hmm. and I've used it. It's great. And it looks the same way as the original pictures that I showed you. When I first bought it. Wow. Can you fire it up? Sounds great. Well guys, thanks for joining us today. Again, my name is Mike from Weeby Autos. <laughs> If uh, you have any questions at all, feel free to give us a shout. We're at 631-339-0399. You can also check out more pictures, information, and detail on our main website, webeautos.com. Thanks a lot.